So you want to take one, Mark? Hey creators, welcome to the first episode of the series. Oh, first episode. Let's do this again. So you want to take two, Mark? Hey creators, <laughs> welcome to the first oh, episode. First so you want to take seven, Mark? Hey creators, welcome to the oh, first. first Scene one, take 21, Mark. Hey creators, oh, welcome to... Oh, okay. I'm done. Let's fix it in post. Hey creators, this is Sanjeet from Wondershare Flamora here to empower your inner video creator. Welcome to the first episode of the Fix It In Post series. Fix It In Post is a phrase often uttered by filmmakers who mess up on set and don't want to go through the time consuming and expensive process of filming it again. The expectation here is that the editor knows magic and can make the mess just disappear. Today, we're gonna tackle an editor's worst nightmare, bad audio. Maybe the environment was beyond your control, or you are limited by budget for professional audio gear. Whatever the reason is, if you're at the editing table and you feel that the audio can be improved, Filmora has some tools to help you achieve that goal. We at Wondershare do not support fixed and post. Please pay attention to the detail in pre-production and production to avoid this. However, we are here to help you in any way we can. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on our channel. Today, I'm gonna show you a few tricks that we use as a workaround while editing. Before you get started, make sure you're wearing a good quality headphone to notice the difference before and after the audio fix. Let's go. If you haven't downloaded Filmora yet, you can do so by going to filmora.wondershare.com or click the link in the description below. For our first example, we're gonna film a short clip of me outdoors on a beautiful day. Our challenge here is the sound of wind. It's important to analyze the noise pattern to effectively handle it in post. For our clip here, we have a soft, constant rumble of the wind. Filmora comes with normal denoise, which will help us clean up the sound of wind. Let's select our audio layer and go to the Audio tab and enable normal denoise. Let's hear what it sounds like. We're gonna film a short clip of me outdoors on a beautiful day. We're gonna film a short clip of me outdoors on a beautiful day. However, the Filmora team always prefers to fix it in pre. The right way to get around an outdoor shoot is to use the wind sock. You can also use this technique for indoor noises as well. For example, the sound from the AC vent, or maybe the fridge. For my second example, I wanna talk about inconsistent audio levels. This is especially important if you're doing talking head podcasts or tutorial videos. It is crucial that we maintain same audio levels throughout the whole video, unless we choose to whisper as a creative choice. For any unfortunate reason, if you are editing your video and notice that the audio levels don't match, there are a few things we can do to fix it in post. You can check the average decibel level of your audio clip by reading the audio meter. My clip has an average of minus nine decibels. However, I want it to have an average of minus six decibels. I will go to volume and choose three decibel. This shows the gain amount and not the final output decibels. However, if you have a lot of audio clips and it's not possible to manually adjust each one of them, no worries, Filmora's got you covered. Let's select all the audio layers. Go to the audio tab and select auto normalization. However, for your future reference, you should always keep an eye on the audio meter on your recording device. Just like Filmora, your sound recording device and even your camera display should have an audio meter for your reference. Your audio signal should not cross 0.0, .0 decibels in digital audio. Crossing that level will result in peaking. This is how a peaking audio clip would look like. You can hear audio clipping and distortion. It is crucial that we maintain same audio levels throughout the whole video. And a non-peaking audio clip would sound like this. Ah, my favorite, unwanted sounds. Just when our audio guy says, quiet on set, of course, someone feels the need to sneeze or someone just would like to walk and keeps walking somewhere. 
Where? I don't know. Just walks. There are a few ways to handle this situation. If we hear the noise while our host is talking, we can use background music to reduce the distraction from the unwanted footsteps. And keeps walking. Somewhere. Where? I don't know. Just walks. Or we might be lucky if the noises occur after the host has finished his line. In that case, we can identify the noise in our audio layer and cut them off. The important factor here is room tone. Even though often inaudible, there's always a low humming sound known as room tone. If we cut out our audio layer, it might sound unnatural because we are cutting out the room tone as well. And keeps walking. Somewhere. Where? I don't know. Just walks. It is always recommended to record at least 60 seconds of room tone while filming to capture all the ambient sounds of the room. Let's apply the room tone in Filmora. Make sure to add the fade to our cuts in the audio layer. Let's select our room tone audio layer, drag it to our timeline, and add soft fades to match the voice layer. And keeps walking. Somewhere. Where? I don't know. It sounds more natural. Discovering unwanted sounds on a great take can happen to anyone, even a seasoned pro. And when you have no option to reshoot the video, knowing how to fix it in post will save the day. Stay tuned for more Fix It In Post tricks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Keep creating and I will see you next time.